So, 14.5, put it on 5.05, put it on 5.05, GS. The government website that used to find government fleet vehicles was autoauctions.gsa.gov. Here you can search vehicles by make, model, state, auction house, and more. This site displays government fleet vehicles that will be coming up for auction and informs you of what auction house they will be auctioned from. It is then up to you to contact the auction house and register for the auction with them. I knew that I wanted a truck without much rust, so I was looking for trucks in Arizona, Texas, or New Mexico. I noticed that one auction house called Metro A Phoenix had an upcoming auction with a lot of promising trucks, so I googled their office number and gave them a call. Then Metro AA emailed me a very simple GSA bidder registration form. I had to email this form back to them along with a scan of my driver's license. Note that not all auctions are open to the public and different auction houses have different policies and registration steps. As the date of the auction got closer, they sent me an access code and a bidder badge number. I would need the access code to log into the online simulcast on their website and my bidder badge number is the number that would show up when I put in a bid on any vehicle and also what the auctioneer would refer to me by. Because I live over 1,000 miles from Phoenix, an important question I had for them was the time frame to pick up the vehicle after the auction. I was informed that it would be 24 to 48 hours to pay for the vehicle and 30 days to pick it up. This is where I ran into a misunderstanding on my first attempt at buying a truck at auction. I got everything set up for an auction in early December and logged on. As the auctioneer was listing the rules of the auction, he said that the vehicle would have to be picked up by the end of the day or by the end of the day tomorrow. I can't remember which. Anyhow, that time frame was far too tight for me to figure out how to get down to Phoenix and pick it up, so I just watched the auction and didn't put in any bids. Later, I would email the office and ask them about this, and they confirmed that I would have to pay for it within 48 hours, but that I would be able to pick it up whenever I could. It's possible that this particular rule was directed at dealerships who seemed to buy the majority of the vehicles at these fleet auctions. So I waited for the next auction, which came up in January. My process before the auction was to go to the auction house website and view the list of vehicles for sale. This would include all of the basic information about the particular vehicle to be auctioned, as well as some assorted pictures that are helpful but almost never show the interior and can be hard to use to make out detail depending on the lighting. I would take the make, model, year, and mileage information of any trucks I was interested in and insert that into Kelly Blue Book. Kelly Blue Book would shoot out a ballpark range, and then I'd write that down to reference during the auction so that I could have a quick reference of at what price I should stop bidding. Something to consider about the competition in these auctions is that often it will be dealerships. If it comes down to you and a dealer, you might think that you have the advantage because they will have to bid a certain percent below the value they can sell it for in order to make it worth their while. But when you consider that dealerships do not pay sales tax, because what they are buying is a product for their business, your advantage may not be so significant, because that is 6.5%, depending on your state, that they don't have to worry about. As far as getting steals goes, I think in the 200 plus vehicles that I watched get auctioned off, only one of them struck me as going for significantly below value. So it happens, but I'd say it's the exception. Here they are rolling the truck that I'm about to win onto the floor. $500 now, 7 and to get on, seven and to get on, 7 at this point, the auctioneer is still auctioning off the vehicle that was previously on the floor. Seven and a half, do you want any more? At seventeen five hundred dollars, seven and a half, and a good number to get on seven and a half. Go to the bank. At seventeen five hundred dollars, seven and a half, and a good number to get on seven and a half to get all done. So it's all seventeen five. Put it on by four ninety six. You buy four nine six. GS seventy one does have an open recall. It's a little F one fifty XL single cab, nice little truck. It does have. Have an open recall. Ladies and gentlemen, start the bidding at ten thousand two fifty. Ten grand two nine to get on nine to get on ten grand. Yeah, ten thousand dollar two nine to get on nine to get on two nine to get on. Is that you? At ten grand two nine to get on nine to get on. We're gonna back at eight five. At ten two nine to get on five hundred nine to get on nine to get on ten. Got it. Now seven and a half. At ten seven nine to get on eleven grand. About two nine to get on nine to get on two nine to get on. Roll it at eleven grand. So at this point, I'm not even sure that I'm going to buy this truck. I'm just looking at my notes to see what the value is that it should go for. I've already put bids on a bunch of other trucks that have gone beyond my price range.
11 7, 12 grand at 12 grand bid 11 7 and to get on 12 grand bid 12 grand and to get on them to get all done 12 grand two now so i put in my first bid at 12 grand my camera sort of messed up here i didn't record the full screen but you can see on my bid history that i put in a bid as bidder 9453 and 250, 250, it's 12 grand bid, two and a half, go to the bank at 12, 500, I'm going to get on, I'm going to get on, two and a half, I'm going to get on, 500, I'm going to get on, five, 12, five in advance. Seven and a half to get on, seven and a half to get on, seven and a half to get on, seven and a half. He just made it, Doug. You're out at twelve five, seven and a half to get on, seven to get on, seven and a half to get on, seven and a half. Got it. Thirteen grand. It's thirteen grand. About thirteen to get on, seven to get on, two and a half to get on, two and a half to get on, two. Got to go at thirteen grand. Two and a half to get on, seven to get on, two and a half to get all done. Thirteen, two and a half. Sold at thirteen thousand dollars. Put it on buyer. Ninety four fifty three. Ninety four fifty three on that one. Car number seventy two. So, he mentioned that the vehicle had an open recall before he started the bidding. I checked what it was, and I'll need to bring it to the dealership for a software update, otherwise it could unexpectedly downshift. It was unit GS71, meaning it was the 71st vehicle in the day's lineup. Now the hard part, figuring out how to get the truck. In the interest of time efficiency, I'm going to click through all the information you can get on a vehicle from this particular auction house while I describe the procurement process. Any single picture or scrap of information about the vehicle can be helpful in buying a vehicle online. Metro AA contacted me after I won the auction and I paid the $13,000 for the truck using a credit card as well as $888 for Arizona state sales tax. You will have to have the funds to pay for the full cost of the vehicle and tax within 48 hours. I was then sent a bundle of paperwork which included some receipts I needed to sign and various official Arizona documents, some of which applied to me and some of which I didn't actually need to do. This part just took a lot of back and forth with the office to get sorted out. I asked them if they could recommend an auto transport company to me, and they gave me the number of a transport guy they work with. I called that guy and got a $780 quote to have it shipped to my girlfriend's house, which was 650 miles from Phoenix, or a $1,400 quote to have it shipped to where I was, at that time, 2,200 miles away. So I went with the cheaper option and decided to pick it up when I'm there next. An alternative to this is that I could have flown into Phoenix and driven the vehicle home. But there's the flight expense and gas and food and lodging to consider with this method. Something I ran into when the auto transporter went to pick up the vehicle was that he called me after the auction office had closed, right before the vehicle was getting picked up, and said he needed a gate pass. He assumed I had already been emailed this, but I had never heard of it. This is a document from the auction house that verifies that the person picking up the vehicle is authorized to pick it up. Thankfully, I was able to get the gate pass to the carrier in time. So once you pay for the vehicle, ask to have the gate pass emailed to you. Two days later, the truck was finally dropped off at its destination. And now the final step, visiting the DMV. Getting everything registered and titled involved three trips to the DMV. I had to do all of the normal new car things like pay for the plates and get car insurance in order to get a registration. I also had to bring in this certificate to obtain a title, which you can get in the mail when you buy a vehicle from a government fleet auction. The DMV then took that certificate to obtain a title and mailed me a New York State title. This isn't actually my certificate, this is just an example from somebody who bought a Humvee, which is why it says for off-road use only across the top. Where I could have had a headache was the fact that I had to pay the 6.5% sales tax to Arizona. So I had to go through all of my papers and provide the New York DMV with sufficient proof that I had already paid 6.5% to Arizona so that I would not get double taxed on that first 6.5%. This way I only had to pay New York an extra 2% to get to the New York 8.5% sales tax. Luckily, by chance, Arizona is one of very few states that New York has a reciprocal auto sales tax policy with. If I had purchased the car from a state without New York reciprocity, I would have paid that state's sales tax and then also paid the full 8.5% New York sales tax on top of that. I would then have to go to the first state and do a bunch of paperwork to get my sales tax money back from them. Since this is a situation I assume many people could unexpectedly encounter when buying from auctions, I'll read to you what the New York Department of Taxation has to say about that which may or may not be similar to the rules in your home state. So here's the form, the Statement of Transaction, Claim for Credit of Sales Tax Paid to Another State, DTF 804 in New York. And here's the relevant note. 
Before completing this form, refer to the charts below to determine if New York State provides a reciprocal credit for sales tax paid to the state where you made your purchase. For motor vehicles, New York State provides a reciprocal credit for tax paid to a very limited number of states. If no reciprocal credit is available, use form DTF 802, blah blah blah, instead of this form. If you pay tax to a state for which no New York State reciprocal credit is allowed, you should apply to that state for a refund. If that state denies the refund, you may be eligible for credit for some or all of the New York tax you must pay now. To apply, file form AU11, application for credit or refund or sales use tax, and attach proof of tax payment to and proof of the refund denial by the other state. And down here you can see where New York gives full credit for sales tax paid for motor vehicles and then here there's no credit so you'll have to go back to these states and ask for your sales tax money back or at least i would if i would have bought a vehicle from them and then there's some special rules for different states over here maryland and indiana and then here is the same thing but for all-terrain vehicles snowmobiles vessels and trailers these are the costs that you should be aware of before you purchase a vehicle this way you will have to cover the full vehicle price at auction as well as the full sales tax within a certain time period likely one to two days after the auction on top of that if you purchase the vehicle out of state and your state does not have a reciprocal vehicle sales tax policy with the auction state, you may be taxed double when you go to register your car until you file the forms to get your money back. This didn't happen in my case, but when I registered the vehicle, I did have to pay another 2% sales tax to reach the New York sales tax rate. Then there's the cost of getting the vehicle, which may be minimal if you are in state because you can pick it up yourself, or may be rather expensive if you use an auto transport company like I did, or if you fly in to go get it. Finally, you will need to pay the registration fees. Thanks for watching this video. I figured I would make it to hopefully save people a few hours of research while the process is still fresh in my mind. I have included about five minutes of auction footage after this, so that if you want, you can get a feel for the pace and format of an online fleet auction. If you're prone to migraines, you might want to turn down your volume. Right now. A 50,000 mile truck, ladies and gentlemen, started at 15 grand. 15 grand. We're going to stay in two and a half, so over 10 grand if we can. You got how much? Anybody? 12, 5, 7 and a half, 12, 7, 50. At 12, 5, 7 and a half, 12, 5, 7, 50. At 13 grand, about 13, 13, dollars 7 and a half, 13 grand, 250. At 13, 5 and a half, 7 and a half, you boys from Prescott, get in here. At 14, 2 and a half, 2 and a half, 14, 250. Y'all done. At 14 grand, 2 and a half, we're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. 500. At 14, 5 and a half, 7 and 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 7 Sold it upstairs, 13, two and a half, put it on 531. Thank you, Richard. Ladies and gentlemen, GS7. Cover up right here, your little V8. Loaded up, big horn, eight grand, $8,100. It ain't down at all. I'm on the buyer, two, two, two. You got to be two. I'm on the money. You got to be 300, 400. At 400, I'm going to get down. 500, 600, I'm going to get down. Seven and 800, down. 90 buyer and one there, 91. It two, 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 three, three, four, 90, 400, 500, 600, down. Seven and down. Seven, you got to be seven and down. Six, seven. At 700, 
I've been getting 9600. I've been getting 800 down. 90 by 98 bid. 9 at 9. I've been getting 9 bid. 9 by 98 and 9. We're selling at 9. I've been getting 9 bid. 9 by 98. I've been getting on sold to him. 9800. Put it on 543. Put it on buyer. 543 on that one. All right, here we get our GS8, a little newer, ladies and gentlemen, coming up right here. All right, here we get our nine grand on the buy, 9100. Here, two, 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 here we get nine, I'm going to get down, two, we're going to get down, three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, I'm going to get nine, five hundred dollars, six hundred, I'm going to get down, six, six, seven, now eight, eight, now ninety bid, ninety buy, you got to be nine, ten grand. I want to buy two, 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 three, 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 four, ten, five hundred dollars here. It's six hundred dollars now, seven, now seven, eight, eight, now ninety bid, now eleven grand, we're going to get down, one, the eleven, one, the two, at two. $200, $200, $300, $400, $500, $500, $600, I'm going to get down, $70, you got to be 11, 8 there. In 11, 900, I'm going to get 12 grand a bid, one to buy, 12, one on the floor. At 12 grand on the floor, one to buy, one to bid, one to buy, do you want any more? Two, 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 you got to be two, three. At 12, 400, all the 400, I'm going to get down, I'm going to get down, 500, get all done. Anybody else? 300, 400, 400, 400, 500. At 12, 500, just came in, just came in, 12, five. At 400, all the 500, I'm going to get down, I'm going to get down, Five minutes 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 to get down. Sold it right there, straight away. Twelve four. You got a number, sir? Put it on buyer number ninety four fifty eight. So buyer ninety four fifty eight. Hey, we got more. Way better mileage here. Here we get here. Ten grand bid, two and a half. It ten grand, two and a half to get down. Five hundred dollars, seven and a half to get down. Seven to get down. Eleven grand a bid, two and a half to get down. Seven to get down. Five, eleven five, twelve grand, thirteen to fifty. At thirteen, five hundred dollars, you got to be five, sir. At seven and a half to get down. Seven to get down. Fourteen grand a buyer, two and a half to get down. Seven to get down. Two and a half, five there, fifteen. I'll catch up. Yeah, fifteen, two and a half to get down. Five hundred dollars, two and a half to get down. Five there, fifteen, five, seven and a half on the floor. If it's sixteen, seven. And a half. You got to be seventeen thousand at seventeen grand. About sixteen seven and a half to get on seventeen to get on seven to get on seventeen thousand at seventeen to get on seven to get on seventeen to get on. Sold it out here straight away sixteen seven fifty. Put it on buyer number. Ninety four fifty four is your buyer. Ninety four fifty four. DS ten, ladies and gentlemen, coming up Dakota. All right. 